Hello and welcome to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to make a live USB so you can install an operating system onto another computer. But before we proceed any further into the video, I'd like to thank my channel member Mislav for being a channel member. They get early access to videos such as this one right here, as well as a little badge next to the name for videos and live streams. Uh, and also, they get priority response comments as their as their comment gets sent to my phone first. So why not join them? Anyway, let's get into the video. So, what we need is a USB stick. In this case, this is just a verbatim grab and go 32 gig stick. So, what we're going to do is we're going to plug it in. Now it's been plugged into the system. We should get a Hello, hello, which is hiding. As we can see, it is over here. It is currently seen as a Debian 12 USB stick. We'll ignore that because we're going to do the entire process. So, first things first, we want to format the disk. To do that, you can use disks or Gpartied or what have you. In my case, I just use disks as it is a uh, built in feature. As we can see here, it's just a verbatim store and go. It's got uh, it's got Debian, it's also got 30 gigs of free space and all that jazz, but what we want to do is we just want to uh, remove yes, I'm sure I want to do I just wish to format disk uh, compatible with all formats uh, yes as we can see here yada yada format and there we go so, we now have our USB stick now, when it comes to writing a ISO to a USB stick to make it bootable, to then use for an installation media, it depends on what software you want to use. I use Belena's uh, Etcher software. So, I'll, I'll leave a link to that in the description. But in my case, I've already got it downloaded and extracted as a portable. Uh, you can have it wherever you want. You may need to make it executable with just allow executing the file, and then that's it. But once I've done that, once you have that, we want to drag that across to there because it opens there and I don't know why. You can choose to write uh, this. You can just write any ISO you want on, onto it, or you can flash it from me. Uh, you can have a URL for it. For example, enter a valid URL. If you've got one, you can do, or you can just clone a drive instead. In my case, I'm going to be flashing an ISO of, uh, let's just go to my documents, we, let's, let's do this, and then flash, uh, because it's making changes to disks, it wants to know, it wants to have a password, as long as you enter it correctly, that would help, there we go, and then this will vary depending on how you're connecting your USB stick, whether USB sticks, USB 2, 3, 17 billion, or what have you, and then how large the ISO you're writing. Uh, in my case, as this is a 32 gig stick and a 1.21 gigabyte uh, file, it will take a bit longer. Your mileage will vary depending on what you're trying to install. As we can see here, it's 50% done, and I've only been talking for about 20 seconds. Um, don't trust the ETA timer because it it is never one hundred percent accurate. As you as we can see here, it's just jumping up and down like uh, like someone on a pogo stick. It's just pogo sticking about. Just ah uh, yes, three seconds, twenty seconds, five seconds, fifteen seconds. But yeah, it's it varies depending on what you what you're trying to do, uh, what you're trying to write, and where it's writing to. There is also a validation. This just checks to make sure this is burnt. This is being burnt correctly, as that is the correct term. As it is, just make sure it's done correctly and it's going on without any hassle. And then once it's done that, we will then get a flash successfully completed. Actual next ISO so was successfully flashed to verbatim store and go. So if we just give this a quick check and we come to here, uh, no. Uh, what? There we go. And here it is. This is our the USB stick. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take out the USB stick. 
We have USB stick here. Plug it into this laptop. That's plugged in, and then we're just going to turn on the laptop. Uh, I have this uh, set so it boots straight to the USB. Um, you'll, yours will vary as that's your hardware, this is mine. And then, bada bing. In less than five, in less than six minutes, we have a bootable ISO to install with. So if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike. They both seem to work even though you can only see one of them. And remember why my kernels, when you use Linux, do not panic. That's my job. Anyway, I have been Nick. You've been amazing. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.